hello everyone welcome back so in this video i'll be talking about reactivity in javascript and how you can make vanilla javascript reactive like a framework like um, vue.js react and angular and other reactive frameworks we have out there so i'm just going to open visual studio code and i have my inget.html file i just have this button here that i'll be using to toggle the background color i have some basic styling I just have the background color set to green on the body tag. Then I have this transition added to make the background color change smoothly. And I'm just positioning the button at the center of the page. So my script JS file is empty and we're going to start um, writing some code. So I'm just going to share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to make my text a little bigger. So let's say we want to toggle the background color um, in a normal sense with vanilla javascript so i'm going to define a variable and i'm going to say let toggle equal to true then next what i have to do is to select the buttons so i'm going to say document dot query selector and i'm going to grab the button with the name of the tag and that's fine because we just have only one button and i'm going to add an event listing now i'm going to listen for a click event and when that event fires off i'm just going to pass in an arrow function here because we're not going to be doing much then i'm going to use an if statement and say if toggle so if toggle is equals to true then we want to set toggle to be equal to false and we want to set the background color of the body to be red so document can grab the body by using document dot body then dot style dot background dot background color and i'm going to set it to red else to else toggle i'm going to set toggle to be equal to true and I'm just going to copy this. And we're going to set the background color to be green. And save. So let's try it out. So if I click, the background color is going to switch from green to red. If I click again, it's going to switch from red to green. Now, this is good, but this is not reactive. The reason why it's not reactive is because we are doing everything. We are keeping track of both the value of um this toggle variable here and we're changing the background color inside this function um the dom is not actually reacting to the change in data directly so um so let's say we want to make this more we want to make this more reactive with javascript with vanilla javascript another option we can use is using setting server or request animation theme that is going to keep track of the value that change you can call request animation theme and we're going to keep on um, calling a function at each point. So, but I'm not going to use setting tava for this purpose. I just want to demonstrate something quickly. So, setting tava and setting tava is going to take in a callback function. And inside this callback function, what do we want to do? We want to keep track of the value of toggle. So, I'm going to say if toggle, if toggle, what do we want to do? If toggle we want to set the background color to green, so if toggle is equal to true, we want to set the background color to be equal to green. Else, we want the background color to be red. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm just going to get rid of this, yes, and this. So if toggle, we want to set toggle to be toggle to be equals to false else toggle is equals to true so toggle equals to true and let's save and see what happens so if i click it's going to switch just like the other one but this time i'm using setting server to keep track of the value of toggle and if it changes we are going to update the background color based on the value now that's more like an actual framework but Set Java and 
request animation sometimes slow down the browser, especially setting server. So what's another better way to add reactivity to your JavaScript, um, to your JavaScript application? So we have what we call setters and getters, and setters and getters are um, special methods that are used in JavaScript to define and assess the property of an object, to give us more control over the property of an object. So I'm just going to show you setters and getters very quickly. I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to use constructor function. There are various ways you can use setters and getters. You can use constructor function, you can use classes, and you can use object iterators. But for this purpose, we are going to use constructor function. So I'm going to say function and I'm going to call the name of this constructor reactivity. And I'm going to say this dot toggle. You can assess the property of an object using this, uh, using the this keyword. And we can also set the property of an object using the this keyword. So I'm going to set this dot toggle to true. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to return an object from this function. If you want to use um, setters and getters property inside a constructor function, you have to return an object. So first, I'm going to get the value. So get, and I'm going to say toggle data, toggle data, and I'm going to return, I'm going to return this dot toggle. I'm going to return this dot toggle. Now we're actually getting this value here, the property of this reactivity object through this getter and we are calling this toggle data function. So what if we want to assess it? We have to use the set, the set property to set toggle data. And we're going to take in a parameter and I'm going to um, give it a parameter of bool and we are going to set this dot toggle. I'm going to set this dot toggle to bool. Now, the way it works is when we try to assess um, this data, whatever we set um, toggle data to be, that's what will be the parameter that is passed in here. So let's say, for example, on click, I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, this on click, we want to toggle the data, we want to toggle this um, property here, this toggle property here. So on click, I'm going to um, first, we have to create an instance of this constructor. So I'm going to say const reactive reactive instance, and I'm going to set it to reactivity. And you don't want to forget to add the new keyword because it's a constructor. You have to add the new keyword. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use an if statement inside here. So I'm going to say if if toggle data if this dot toggle yeah if this dot toggle then what do we want to do? We want to change the background color. So I'm going to say document dot body dot style and I'm going to grab the background color background color and i'm going to set it to green else so i'm going to come and say else i'm going to come below and say else then i'm going to copy this just save time and change it to red so we are keeping track of this toggle data property here inside this object with the set function and each time it changes, we want to change the background color. So inside the click function, I'm going to say, I'm going to toggle the, to toggle this value here. Yes. So to assess it, we have to call the toggle data function. So we're going to say reactive instance. Oops, how did I do that? So I'm going to come over here and say reactive instance dot toggle data. And when using setters and getters, you don't have to add parentheses. 
because we are actually assessing the value as a property, not um, a function. So if you okay, so let's just add this plant as you can see. So I'm just going to open my console. Let's open the console, and if I click, we are going to get an error. The reactive instance toggle data is not a function. You see, it's not a function. It's now a property because we are using setters and getters. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to set toggle data equals to not reactivity, reactive instance dot toggle data. So whatever we set this reactive instance dot toggle data to will be the value of this parameter we passed in here. So what we are basically doing is if we if toggle data is equal to true, set toggle data to false. And if toggle data is equal to false, set toggle data to true. And the set toggle data is going to keep track of this toggle data and going to change the background color based on the value. So I'm going to save. And right now, toggle data is equal to true. If I click. Oops, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we are setting this dot toggle to true. We are setting this dot toggle to true and the reactive instance. Yeah, so I'm going to save this. And if I click, yeah, so it's working. The reason why um, it takes time because I'm just going to set this to. By default, I'm just going to come over here and copy it. I'm just going to copy this line and I'm going to set reactive data to true by default. So reactive data is not true. So if I click, it's going to switch from green to red. If I keep clicking. So you see this is a better way of using um, making your JavaScript application reactive without using a framework. Because most framework use um, getters and setters under the hood. I I was currently working with um, Vue.js and I have to discover that it uses getters and setters under the hood for reactivity. So I just want to share this quick tip with you. If you like it, leave a thumbs up for this video. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down for this video. I would like to know um, your thoughts on my content. If you have anything to say about my content, drop your thoughts from the comment section and subscribe if you like my video and share with your friends also so i'm going to see you guys next time in another video i love you and goodbye